folks, this is Jamil Sof for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the law offices of Tim Forshee with Tim. Jamil, how, how are you? Good. How you doing, buddy? Always good to see you. Hey, um, I got a question for you, but before we start, uh, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so you might uh, continue to do this content that you guys really like. Tim, I have a question for you. Sure, hit it. Uh, things not to do when you EDC, when you conceal carry, or in some states open carry, but when you conceal carry, what things you consider that are just pretty much stupid and okay you and you should not well do. candidly and I, and there's a segment of the, of our of our uh, community that for some reason gets upset when i say this but candidly the first thing would be don't carry open you just said in some states carry open and it is legal in arizona to carry open and in several other states uh, even if it's legal very bad idea it's a tactical consideration and legal consideration and people say legal you just said it was legal i'll get to that in a second but the tactical consideration is this a lot of people are unaware of the fact that uh, approximately 30% of all the police officers killed in the line of duty each year in the U.S. are killed with their own weapon. Uh, carrying open uh, doesn't dissuade really bad people from killing cops with their own gun, right? So uh, you probably don't have as much self-defense training as most cops, at least most of us don't. Um, you're probably not in the, in the physical condition that a 27-year-old cop is in. I know I'm not. And uh, rolling around on the, par on the parking lot ground trying to keep somebody from getting my gun on my holster is one of my worst nightmares. So. Um, People who carry open, if you ask them, and I do, why are you carrying open in a state where you can just untuck your shirt and it's legal to carry concealed? And they'll literally say most of the time, the reason I carry open is to keep people away from me. I don't want to make any new friends. I want people to leave me the hell alone. And that's a very short-term thinking because in the long term, the people that you really want to make you uh, be left alone, the people you really want to leave you alone, are not going to leave you alone. They're going to target you. They're going to, they're going to target you now as a, a person that has a gun that they can use to harm you and then sell the gun later for methamphetamine. So tactically, uh, as a civilian especially, it's a very bad idea to carry open. What about legally? I just said it's legal to do it. Yes, it is. But what if we get uh, a, a phenomenon that a lot of people might refer to as basically swatting? What if I can spot you? I spot your gun. Uh, I watch you get in your car. I get your license plate number. I call the police. I make myself fake cry on the phone. And I claim that you just pointed that gun at me in the parking lot and told me to F off. Uh, and you're in this car with this license plate heading this direction on this street. Uh, the next probably three hours to 30 years of your life are going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, I always tell people, prove you didn't have oatmeal this morning if me and somebody else will swear that we saw you eat oatmeal this morning. Well, the Constitution says I'm innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It does say that. That's true. Um, go down to jail sometime and watch all the people that have not been convicted of a crime and watch them being paraded into the courtroom and on a chain. Uh, go down to the, to the Maricopa County Jail and find out that almost 70% of the inmates have not yet been convicted of a crime and they just simply can't post bond and they're there eating horse meat twice a day and getting a shower a week, et cetera, et cetera. So yes, that is a constitutional provision, but you're certainly treated as though you're guilty uh, until you prove yourself innocent. That's the reality of it. So, so carrying open to me is a really bad idea. And that kind of segues into the whole, I guess, broader answer to your question, you know, mistakes that people make when they carry a gun. Uh, I, I, I thought about this for years, and I, as you know, I've been a, a CCW instructor for going on 30 years now. Uh, I came up with this thing, at least I think I came up with it. I may have plagiarized it and forgot where I saw it, but I believe I came up with it, that I call it the three C's. And that's concealment, common sense, and courtesy. And I think that almost every client that I get that winds up in some sort of trouble because of something they did when they were carrying their gun, they forgot at least one, if not all three of those rules. So concealment very simply means, uh, well, a lot of people think concealment means no one can see your gun. That's a very, very uh, minimal definition of what I mean by concealment. To me, concealment very simply means that no one knows you're carrying a gun. That's from uh, visual, it's from hearing. It's what, if you turn a corner and your gun bon bonks into the corner of the, of the wall, anybody that's paying attention will hear that that wasn't a hip bone that hit the wall, it was a piece of metal. Um, I smelled Hoppy's number nine on a guy one time when I was in an Ace Hardware. Um, I, I didn't need to see his gun to know that either he had a gun or he just finished cleaning a gun, which to me is the same thing. He's a gun guy. So I identify that by, based on smell. So paying attention to the, you know, make sure that no one knows you're carrying a gun. And then the beauty of that is, if no one knows you're carrying a gun, please explain to me how you can get in trouble because of your gun. It's a non-issue. It goes away. So that's huge, and I think people don't give it enough import. So that's a big one. Uh, the next one is common sense. Don't do stupid stuff with your gun. If you do something stupid with a garden rake, it's probably going to be a misdemeanor. If you do something stupid with a gun, I guarantee you it's going to be a felony. So the rules are different. Whether they should be or not, it's probably another topic for another day. It's a long conversation, but that's simply the way it is. So uh, John Farnham, who I've met, I imagine you've met John, one of the best mm -hmm. firearms instructors ever. John, and I'm going to tame this down and make it a little more PG, but John has a really great saying in all of his classes, don't do stupid stuff with stupid people in stupid places. 
And if you think back to when you were 18 to 22 and we did all that stupid stuff, you probably violated all three, if not, you know, or at mm -hmm. least one, if not all three of those rules. I know I did. So that's what I mean by common sense. Educate yourself, get some classes, get some training. Don't do stupid stuff with guns. Alcohol and guns, drugs and guns do not mix. So if you want to intake or in, you know, in, imbibe, make sure there's no gun involved. Just like if you're going to drink and drive, don't mix the two. Drive or drink, don't mix the two. Same with guns and, and, and drugs and alcohol. Um, and then lastly is courtesy. And I guess that's a very simple one that's not so simple really in practice. It's just to say, be nice to people. And what I, I take it a step further and I say, if I'm carrying a gun, I'm always wrong and you're always right. Mm -hmm. You were right to steal my parking space. You were right to spill your food on my slacks. You were right to, to flip me off on the highway. I'm never, ever right, and you're always, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm never, ever wrong, and you're always right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that can be very difficult, but you need to do that, okay? And this isn't some, you know, I'm not telling people to be good Christians or anything like that. That's not the point. The point is this. I don't want to get into any kind of an altercation. If the guy cuts me off and I flip him off and he flips me off and then he taps my fender and we have to pull over to the side and he attacks me and I have to shoot him, I guess the issue then becomes, so why did I have to flip him off? What started this? And hindsight is a really crappy way to deal with that because hindsight means you're in custody. Um, you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on your legal defense. You may never get out of jail. Um, your, your marriage is gone. Your house is gone. Your relationship with your children is gone. Your career is gone. Why did you flip the guy off? So don't. So uh, my, my whole point there is that, as I said, I'm wrong. They're right. Um, I can silently say a prayer that he gets a gigantic hemorrhoid the size of a softball. No problem with that as long as it's silent, right? Uh, just understand that even though you know you're right, you're not going to project that. I'm wrong and you're right. And if you can just remember that and be courteous to people, apologize even when it's their fault, you're never going to need your gun. You're never going to need a lawyer. And that, that to me, those are the big mistakes that people make. There's, you can talk for hours about the little tiny mistakes people make when they're carrying a gun. But if you cover those three areas and people are, are, are pretty thoughtful about it, I think you'll, you'll cover 97% of the problems that could ever come up right there. Well, I guess, like you said, now to me, the most important one is don't do stupid stuff yeah. with stupid people. In I mean, that places. is that yeah. in stupid places because yeah. uh, you play stupid games, you will win stupid prizes. That's right. <laughs> and there are so many people doing stupid things out there on the internet. And then um, people do stupid things all the time, and that's how I'm getting my house paid for. I know. So stop. And, and stop it. Right. Yeah. Uh, let Tim not buy a new house. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't need a house. I, but I've then again, you know, again. you have enough kids. so <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah, uh, but yeah, and it was kind of hard. I know it's really difficult for some people to prevent themselves from doing stupid things. I've done them. You know, I, I, and I tell people this, and I mean it. You know, owning a gun, certainly carrying a gun, is not for everybody. It's a, it's a constitutionally protected right that everybody who's not disqualified can enjoy. Doesn't mean you should enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Almost anybody can go into a Home Depot and buy a chainsaw. Doesn't mean it's a good idea for a lot of people. No. Right? If you can't control your personality, if you can't control your anger and your temper, you shouldn't be carrying a gun. Then you go know, about the chainsaw. I have four stitches in this finger here <laughs> because of a chainsaw. So see, some people shouldn't be allowed to have chainsaws. Yeah, yeah I am one of them. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, Tim. Thanks for yeah, the information. Right. And I know we're gonna continue with some of these in more detail later. Mm -hmm. But for the time being, thank you very much. My and, pleasure, buddy. And we'll continue to do this. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.